We consider that the Cairo conference have been convened without any consultation, even with the countries who have borders with Israel, and they call it the frontier countries, uh, Palestine, Syria, and Jordan. Uh, there should have been some consultation before, because these countries hadn't decided yet to meet with Israel directly without some concession from the side of Israel. Israel said that she is ready to, to negotiate everything, but she put conditions. She put no discussion with PLO, no state for Palestine, no return to 1967 borders. So they put condition and they say everything is negotiable. So for this point also, other Arab countries refused to come and sit with Israel before uh, you know, ending this problem. Uh, and for this reason, Syria, PLO, and Jordan didn't come. So the meeting of Cairo will be only another meeting between Egypt and Israel. And uh, for this reason, I don't think that this will help for better preparation for Geneva. But as an Egyptian citizen, we hope that this meeting will succeed because if really have our official declaration is saying that the meeting in Cairo will discuss everything, including a global or full-scale agreement, we are will be happy if the meeting in Cairo will come to agreement on the points mentioned for withdrawal and for the problem of Palestine, for all the problem. Uh, so we are hoping, although we differ and we have reservation for the meeting, but we hope that this meeting will succeed.